13 Easy Ways to Grieve the Holy Spirit from fellowshipofthemartyrs.com Number 1. Tell him when to show up and when to leave. Schedule his appearances and make sure everybody knows that you have control of his reins so that he will be gone in time for everyone to get to Sunday lunch on time. Number 2. Let somebody that isn't anointed and isn't supposed to be speaking run the show. Number 3. Tell God how great he is and how much you love and adore him and sing songs to him while you completely ignore all the bleeding people around you. Tell them to call the office if they want to talk to someone, but don't disrupt the carefully planned presentation that was scheduled for this time period. Number four, divide the body of Christ up into smaller and smaller pieces and fill it with dissension, factions, division, selfish ambition, strife, quarreling, etc. That's a surefire way to get the gentle dove to take off. Number five, tell him what he can and can't do. Be absolutely positive that you know how he operates and make sure and tell everyone that you have all the answers. Then program and plan and schedule everything in your own power and don't leave him any room or any invitation to show up in any way other than what you've arranged. Number six, give lip service to wanting him to show up but don't really mean it or get out of his way. If he does actually try to break through, squelch it as fast as you can. Pray fervently that the Lord would shake things up, but when he does, deny it was him and go back to sleep. Number seven, cancel your prayer meetings because people are on their faces crying out to the Lord and it's creepy. We need people to be happy in church. It's just not in vogue to have people crying all the time. Number eight, convince the people that worshiping the Holy Spirit and getting him to come is the goal. Seek manifestations and displays of emotionality above all else. Now we do want the Holy Spirit to show up, but as a confirming side effect of the fact that the truth is being spoken and the Word of God is being spread and people are being transformed, not as the whole point of the meeting so that we can just lay around and giggle. Number nine, tell people that something glorious that he did wasn't actually him. In fact, tell them Satan did it. That'll do it. Number ten, take all of the spiritual assets that the Lord has given you and hoard them and don't share with anybody and make sure you let everybody know that you're special. Number 11. Make sure that only people with the proper degrees and certifications from approved structures and systems of man are allowed to speak. Whatever you do, don't let the person there that has the biggest cup of Jesus say anything. Number 12. Lie to the people in your congregation about spiritual gifts. Maybe even publicly deny that you speak in tongues when you actually do. That will make the Holy Spirit leave for sure. I have personally seen that one work real good. Number 13, make it all about you, your kingdom, your power, your glory, forever. Amen. More on this from fellowshipofthemartyrs.com.